James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 27, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have five M flares officially on the 28th, although it's still the 27th here in the U.S. centrally, we just had a directly Earth-facing 9.92 M-class solar flare, rounded off to an X-class solar flare. Again, directly Earth-facing, ladies and gentlemen, and this has just occurred. Technically, it occurred on the 28th of July UTC time, and it peaked around 2, although we'll get the exact peak time here next. Jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com, they have just put out an M7.7, i.e. God's number, peaking at 151. It, in fact, was an M9.92 solar flare. I had actually already figured out that it came from AR3766, which earlier in the day produced an M4.1, but was a simple sunspot group. Now, currently, they said we only have a 10% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 60% chance of having an M-class solar flare, and we've been running a C baseline for a long time. Now, tomorrow, you're going to see all these numbers explode upward. We have a much greater chance of having an X-class solar flare. Looks like AR3766 is morphing to a more complex sunspot. It's unclear why they call it an M7.7, when in fact it was an M9.92 class solar flare. Now, we're running an M1.07 still, so we're still in M territory, still getting hit by an M flare currently as I do this video. Maybe this was not an X flare, although it does look like it breaks breaks the barrier to me but it was one of the strongest M flares that you could have without being called an X flare you can see that it lasted about one hour in M class territory and peaked right below being an X class solar flare directly earth facing now I had actually previously guessed before they actually put it down that it came from 3766 and you'll see why in just a moment, but a lot of these sunspots in this area here are becoming very complex. And 3762 is complex as well as 3768. And we know we have the sunspot group that produced the X14 class solar flare two days ago coming around the limb in just a day or two. This, ladies and gentlemen, is running up to bad times. We're talking about a bad 10 days to 15 days to 20 days ahead of us. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, it's very easy to see where the explosion occurred. Right there at AR 3766. And ladies and gentlemen, it was directly Earth facing. And you can actually see it appears to have released a large coronal mass ejection although we won't get that data for some time now. We're reporting this just as it happens, as usual. I want you to also remember the sunspot group that produced the X14 is coming around the limb in about two to three days. So hold on tight, put your tinfoil hats on. It's about to get rough out there. Now, NASA and NOAA had already modeled the five M-class solar flares that had already occurred before this M9.92 solar flare. Now, it appears they have at least two of the M-flares from earlier, which were much smaller than what we just saw, inbound for the 30th midday, as we discussed. Looks like they have it going up to about 30 or 35 centimeters cubed of plasma. And it appears like they were expecting about 500 kilometers per second in solar winds, Earth being the green lines here. This will all change tomorrow. These will increase tenfold, perhaps. This was a very strong flare, although it was not called an X-class solar flare. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, five M-class solar flares, two of them over the U.S. on the 26th, technically, but really six, including this very strong solar flare, the M9.92, that just popped off over all of the western ring of fire, uh, hitting all of Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines, all of Papua New Guinea. It looks like parts of Russia, etc. A very strong flare, and it just gets bigger and bigger. This is its peak time, 1.54 UTC time. And we're not finished here yet. I would expect the radio alternation to be even worse, but it's not. Again, we're still experiencing an M flare as I do this video here. Now, technically, centrally here in the U.S., we've seen six strong M-class solar flares today, July 27th, 2024. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you all the actual coronal mass ejection that was most likely headed directly towards Earth, right behind the other two coronal mass ejections that have already been modeled by NASA that we will look at. This is going to be a one, two, three punch, better known as a what? Cannibal coronal mass ejection times two. So this is the sunspot group. It's been, well, these are the sunspot groups that have been so active today, along with this group right here. This is a reverse polarity sunspot in the northern hemisphere with black over white. We shouldn't see that, and this also has white over black in the southern hemisphere, making it a reverse polarity sunspot as well. But the big problems are coming from this area here, as well as this reverse sunspot here. Anyone with eyes that can see, see that most of the sunspots are in the southern region, and we discussed how the sun pulls all the planets with it away from the Big Bang. So anything happening in the southern hemisphere is going to be more geoeffective than anything happening in the northern hemisphere. Now, heading over to Soho, 284 angstroms. This was taken at 806 central tonight. You can see our several sunspots here and our other sunspot that's, well, reverse polarity right here along with the other reverse polarity sunspot that's in the northern hemisphere. We also had action yesterday out of these departing sunspots that could actually also be geoeffective because of our magnetic or Parker spiral magnetic or geomagnetic connection to that side of our sun. God bless you and yours. Put your tinfoil hats on and get ready to roll. This could get ugly, especially when these stronger or larger sunspots roll around in just a few days. Please make sure to share, make sure to give us a thumbs up, and please always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.